Hey guys, today, how to save your Vitamix vials. I hope at least one of these is helpful for you. First, I'm gonna try and focus on the sort of less beginner sort of tactical Vitamix skills. So like if, you're, if your milkshake or your smoothie is uh, stuck, if there's an air bubble, you add a little more liquid or you use the tamper. Or for next time, you can ramp really slow. A slow ramp from one to 10 will keep the blade sort of connected, grabbing onto the ingredients. A slow ramp is better for the vortex. We're gonna skip that beginner tip. And we're also gonna skip the tip of if it's over blended to add more frozen ingredients uh, or to just throw everything that you over blended in the freezer for five or 10 minutes and then reblend. If you're making a sauce and everything kind of gets stuck onto the blade, you kind of just have to double the recipe or get an, a, another container, like a 48 ounce container or a 20 ounce container. We're gonna skip those basics and focus on more, ooh, aha, the fun stuff. So you tried making green juice and it was a fail. Maybe there's bubbles at the top because you didn't have enough uh, water soluble fiber. No problem, run the Vitamix on variable speed one so the lowest speed it can go for like 30 seconds, that'll pop some of those bubbles, really help. Maybe you added too much greens, that's okay. To balance out that really overly green green juice or green smoothie, add some ginger and lemon. That'll add a sort of a brightness to it and kind of help balance things out a little bit. Lemon, ginger. You can save a brown smoothie by adding chocolate, cocoa powder. Try it. I love this one. If you make a shake and it's not sweet enough, but you're trying to not have as much sugar, add cinnamon. Cinnamon is like a faux sweetener. Try it, add cinnamon. If you made a protein shake and it's chalky, add oats. Oats kind of bind to the protein powder and it makes it less chalky. It actually gives it like a more smooth, uh, more milkshake-like taste. If you made a soup, especially if you made a soup that wasn't from a recipe, a soup that was from scraps, a must-go soup, and it tastes blank, there isn't a lot of flavor, add a pinch of salt, a little bit of salt goes a long way. It can really bring out the flavors nicely. So take that adding salt tip to the next level and add sort of roasted salted almonds uh, on, on top of your soup. We like these smokehouse almonds, kind of a smoky flavor. The lack of a varied consistency may be why it's tasting blank. Adding cream or a creaminess helps. So cream or uh, avocado or squash can really uh, sort of add to the mouthfeel of, of, of a soup. The last one to make a soup better, not a fail, is to add some heat. Uh, crushed red pepper or even just sriracha can really make a, yeah. <laughs> you made enough butter and it was a fail. Maybe you added water or honey or some sort of water-based ingredient to your nut butter. That's gonna make it have a weird consistency. Just Throw it into a smoothie. Save it as a smoothie ingredient instead of something that you're gonna spread on toast or fruit. I love this one. If you made pancakes and they weren't fluffy, maybe, 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 maybe you used baking soda instead of baking powder. Baking soda requires an acid to uh, sort of activate its chemical properties. So if you add a little bit of apple cider vinegar to your pancake batter, it's gonna fluff them right up. If you're using your Vitamix as a food processor, not using the food processor attachment, but just using it as a food processor to make uh, like our detox salad, for example, and the pieces are too small, there's kind of no going back. You can't save them, but you can save them. So for example, if you have carrots, carrots that you overprocessed, save them for a carrot juice or a carrot smoothie. But also the second that you notice that you've over chopped uh, veggies in your Vitamix, stop and clear everything out from the bottom of the container because sometimes the overprocessed ingredients get kind of clumped up in there and then it's gonna kind of keep happening. Clear that out and you should be good. Smaller batches too of the chopping, the coarse chopping will help. If you try to make homemade frappuccinos and they're kind of like, they're not homogenous, it's kind of like the sweet stuff is at the bottom and the ice is at the top, add Xanthan gum. A, a pack of Xanthan gum is not cheap, but it'll last you like 10 years. So pick one up. That's the secret to making homemade frappuccinos. If you start to make a recipe and you realize you're missing an ingredient, just stick with that family. So if you don't have lemon, use lime. 
If you don't have shallots, use onion. If you don't have dates for sweetness, use maple syrup. Okay, I go get that baby. The best thing you can do to fix your overly processed, your slushy margarita right now, besides adding more ice, which you should, is add a, a citrus fruit, uh, an orange or a grapefruit. It does wonders to hold everything together and make it uh, the most amazing margarita you've ever had. Because you're probably coming from a non-Vitamix situation, for margaritas in your Vitamix, a little more ice, lower speed than variable speed 10. So kind of like a five or six is actually best. And for fewer seconds, like 30 seconds is usually enough. Overprocessing is gonna make it kind of slushy and create that friction, which is gonna melt the ingredients. Ooh, and this one's really good. Use cold alcohol. Guys, this wouldn't be a video about Vitamix fails if I don't mention that it happens to everyone and it's okay. Um, I have a viral video of me dumping a smoothie on my head, trying to show that it's a frozen dessert that gets stuck. And guys, uh, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell to get notified. If you appreciate videos like this, tips and tricks, Vitamix fails, how to fix them, uh, hit that thumbs up. We'd love to see it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next one. Right, Jude? Yeah. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. Um. Bye-bye. <laughs> Who do you see? Where's Dada? Hey, Dada. It's Dada. Hey. Um, but for next time, with your margarita,